Good morning. I really need to hear good morning because it's Monday. <laughs> and I'm allergic to Mondays. Let's cut to the chase, why don't we? It's coffee mug shout out time. <laughs> Reaching out. And the names on the mug are Vixen70. Shanta Hendrix, Dr. 2B Anderson, Soap Bubble UK, Ali Oshai, Life Battle. How is everyone doing today? Is everybody doing all right? I hope so. Somebody asked me how I'm doing. I'll wait. I, 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 I'll wait. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> so yesterday, whilst I was doing my Sunday cleaning and preparing dinner, I turned on the TV as usual, you know, normally the TV watches me while I'm cleaning and, and doing stuff on Sunday, but this show caught my attention. It's called 90 Day Fiance. Have you guys seen that show? Are you guys watching it? Well, we're going to start watching it together. So this show is about several American citizens who have found love out of the United States in other different countries whether it's via the internet chat rooms or just naturally being in another country working and you just run into someone and you start dating them but you have to go back to the u.s or some of them outright said you know they were looking for a bride you know they was looking for a foreign bride because they just didn't have enough social time enough social time you hear me they did not have enough social time to mingle with other people within their general area. Now, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. No, actually, I look, I don't even know what you're thinking, but I know what I'm thinking. Number one, I'm looking at how some of these dudes look, and I'm like, okay, well, I can see kind of why you behind the computer looking for a bride. Google it, Google it. Jesus Watson. But love has no face, people. Love has no face. There is a pot for every kettle. There is a spoon for every tea set. Okay? <laughs> and that man wanted to find his spoon. <laughs> or a cup to stir his spoon in. Ugh. Woo. Give me the heebie-jeebies. Isn't it more time-consuming? to be on them keys typing away rather than being out in the world because some people just spend a whole bunch of time behind their computer maybe that's why you can't find anybody out there because you're so busy in the virtual world hmm. if i had some chin hair i would stroke it disclaimer in no way shape or form am i against these citizens of America who decide to go off that way and find love. Love is love. I'm all for it. <laughs> Somebody's got to find it and they will find you and you will find them. But I just think some of the circumstances were a little bit strange. Just strange. Just questionable. Question. Church hand. Questionable. Okay. <laughs> all right. Carry on. The United States issues this thing called a 90-day visa, a fiancé visa. And these 
couples are allowed to spend their time in the U.S. for 90 days to see whether or not they're going to gel together, whether or not it's going to work out. And in some instances, it was very clear that, you know, they were in love. I really felt one couple, this Mormon guy and the Brazilian lady that he brought back. And it was clear. It was just so, I could feel it. I could feel it in my spirit. I was like, oh, it's so real. It's so real. But. When she came over, like, she was just so, like, frumpy, kind of. But she got a little makeover, baby. And she kind of looked like a little mini Giselle Bunchen. And so she went off and, you know, she tried to become a model. And he he kind of felt uneasy about it. And I was like, well, hmm. Well, you want her to come over here and be everything for you. But you don't want her to want anything else. That's. That's kind of not fair. I mean, what do you expect? She's coming over from another country. Of course she's going to want more. She's going to want the American dream. But what I thought was really sweet and what made me believe it was, at first he was kind of hesitant, but he was like, but you know what? Of course she's going to have dreams, and I'm going to support whatever dream that she wants to have. I thought that was sweet. However, on the other hand, there was another couple, this um very, very healthy looking American man and this very, very skin frail Russian girl. And the first thing that caught my attention was when he ordered some food and she was like, my God, <laughs> is you going to eat all of that? And he was like, why? Yes. And she was like, that looks like a portion for three people, which I can understand because, you know, in other countries, you know, our our portion control is kind of crazy. That's why we <laughs> very, very, very overly healthy over here. So I, I can understand that. But she was kind of weird because when he took her home, she did not want to eat none of the mama's cooking. I mean, who doesn't like barbecue, hamburgers, macaroni and cheese, potatoes, salad? Are you crazy? Is you crazy? She didn't want to eat none of that. And the mother was like, you are completely offending me. You're offending me. Eat something. Cletus, make her eat something. And the man was like, I can't make her eat anything if she don't want to eat, mama. And which was like, I thought she was being really, really rude, but I think there was a really underlying problem to her. I think she had like some type of eating disorder because she had a problem with eating in front of people, eating in public. And she was just so skinny. One time she got in the bed in the hotel and it was about to do something. Oh, Jesus. That couples do in private. And her whole hip bone was just poking out saying, hello, reaching out. How you doing? Mm -mm -mm. so anyway i'm completely addicted to the show i watched the whole first season the marathon as i was peeking in and out you know doing laundry and cleaning and stirring up my red sauce for my pasta and then the next season started last night and they've got some very very questionable couples Y'all let me know if y'all was watching this show and what y'all think about the show. Because on this new season, there is this older lady. Now, she says she's early 40s, but she looked like she's older 40s. But I'm just going to go with whatever she says. And I'm going to trust and believe that she is early 40s. But I mean, who cares? It's her life, right? And then she's dating this man and he is in his 20s. Okay, 20s. And he looks like life hasn't had it with him. But baby, she looked like life gave it to her. She has three younger girls. Girls. And she's bringing this strange man. I don't care if he's foreign, black, white, purple. Well, if he purple, he might not be breathing. But you get what I'm saying. I got a problem with that. You bringing this strange man into your household with your three churns? Mm -mm, baby. Okay. Okay, wait. judging but not judging but i'm judging okay <laughs> how you doing so anyway you guys let me know if you guys are watching this show what you think about the show do you think it's possible to fall in love in such a short period of time and do you think it's possible for somebody to actually go to another country and find genuine love you hear me genuine love the person not having an agenda you know, tell me what you think about that. What do you guys think about that? I know what I'm thinking about it, but I want to know what y'all thinking about it. And then I'll tell y'all what I think about it. Okay. Thank you guys for having coffee with me. Y'all just don't know this Monday is a rough Monday. I done 
finally got to sat down in my bed. Yes, I just said I done finally got to sat down in my bed. Yes, I did. <laughs> you know what I mean. Y'all know what I mean. Okay, dog. Shoot. So anyway, once again, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate the love. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you want your name on the coffee mug, just go ahead and put your comment down below with hashtag coffee mug. Y'all go out and have a wonderful day. Be blessed, y'all. Reaching out to you. Reaching out to you.